A few fun facts about hummingbirds. They get their name from the humming noise that their wings make. They're the only birds that can fly backwards. And the average weight of a hummingbird is less than a nickel. So tiny. We're gonna be using line today, the element of art. We're also going to be using texture when we draw the way something feels. And then also we're gonna be using value, the colors when they go from light to dark or dark to light. Okay, to draw our hummingbird today, we're gonna to be using two elements of art. We're going to be using line to draw the outline or contour line of the bird. And then within the bird, the feathers, we're gonna also use the um, art element texture, how something looks like it feels, so lines and texture. Okay, so let's get started. The very first step is going to be an upside down U shape for the head. And then we wanna just extend that a little bit with a slightly diagonal line. And then we're gonna draw the beak. The beak, has just it's very long with just a little bit of a curve to it so it can really get into the flowers. Um, and then we're going to bring it back. And then I'm gonna put a little line here. And we're gonna do a curve line underneath. Backwards C. And then I'm gonna do another long curve this way. Okay? Then the next step is we're gonna start on the wing. So I'm going to, I want to bring this out just a little bit. All right. Then I'm gonna bring it down. So for the wing, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna curve up just a little bit and then slightly curve down just a little bit. A little upside down U. And then I'm gonna bring it back around. Doing another little curve. And then a line up. So this part right here. So then what we're gonna do next you're gonna take this and then you're kinda of gonna bring it up and kinda of bring it close to the wing. Okay, and then let's go ahead and do the second wing. So up here, I'm gonna do the same motion I did. Up a little bit, down a little bit, a little upside down U, and then bring it back down. Okay, and then we're gonna do this little part here. Following the shape of that line. Okay, so now we're gonna do our um, lines that are gonna be the texture for the feathers. And all that you're doing is kind of a little squishy U, uh, really skinny little U shape. And I'm just gonna keep doing them. You wanna bring them down to this part and then have them touch. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing up here. All right, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the eye. Okay. All right, so then let's kind of finish out the bottom portion and we're gonna do kind of a longer version of what we were doing for the feather texture. So I'm gonna go a diagonal line and then a skinny U shape. And then you're just gonna keep adding those skinny shapes beside it again like we did with the wing. I'm gonna add four of those, getting smaller. And then I'm, once I get to this part, I'm gonna bring it back up to the wing. Okay. 
And then if you want to add a belly, like, uh, like the colored portion of the belly, depending on what um, colors you want to use, you can add that if you want to. And then I added some color around it with my colored pencil um, to just to give different, um, different areas of color. So one other element that I added to this when I colored is the value value light to dark and um, when you're using your colored pencils and many of you have had practice with this you really want to start with your lightest color going to your darkest and blend them I used our colored pencils that I showed you from Dollar General and then I started with a light and then um, started with the green kind of overlap the green over the top part of the yellow and then do the same thing with the blue and that gives that value of blending from light to dark um, and really adds nice color to your hummingbird. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you do well and I have a handout um, included as well with all the steps. So take care.